Hey everybody, it's Rico Suave. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great festive morning. I know I am. Got my coffee. And I'm ready to rock and roll. So today, I want to continue on the series we've been talking about when it comes to health, sanitation, and just overall cleanliness. So today's video is kind of more of a show and tell. I'm going to show you how I do laundry. So yes, today I'm going to air my dirty laundry for you guys. So the purpose of this video that I hope that you guys can get is just showing how I am able to maintain that laundry piece, that health, cleanliness, sanitation piece, being so apart from the grid. Because as many of you guys know, I have set out on this little journey here, this this RV, this this whole this whole thing is just a journey for me to be as self-reliant and to be as apart from the grid as possible while still maintaining the modern luxuries of life. So being that I'm in an RV in the middle of nowhere, I not like I can just walk or drive to a laundry mat down the street and do my laundry. I have to be to completely self reliant on that piece. So today is just kind of a more or less a show and tell of how I am able to do wash my clothes and dry my clothes all here in this RV. So I really hope you guys get that piece out of it and really the big goal is just to show you how I'm able to do it apart from the grid and maybe that can be a basis of how you guys address that issue because I, I, I can tell you from personal experience and I'm sure many of you, of you guys out there that are prior military, yeah. active duty military, avid hunters, avid outdoorsmen realize that not only is being able to get into clean clothes good for your health but is also a great morale booster as well. So the ability to be able to get out of those you know soiled clothing to be able to shower, get clean, and then being able to <laughs> put on fresh clothes is not only great for your health, but it's great for morale. So without further ado, I really want to break this down and show you how I do my laundry step by step. Stay with me. Hey everybody, it's Rico Suave. So here I have my base camp washer machine. Uh, it's through Mr. Heater. And uh, I got this online. Cabela sells them and a bunch of other places sell them but what we have here is we have a portable 12 volt system so this will plug into any of your wall outlets what's nice about it is it holds about five pounds of laundry right here we can see that it has uh, the knob to determine how long you want to wash your clothes for so the main part about washing your clothes is all about agitation and that's what this machine does so we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how I do laundry. Also, while we're doing it, we're going to have this attached to the kilowatt monitor. So we're going to be able to see how much power the machine uses. But we're also going to see how much that's going to cost me to use this machine. So what I'm going to wash for you guys today, we're going to start off with a pair of heavy duty work jeans. pair of socks, some chonies, a t-shirt, and a polo. So we're going to do an outfit for you guys. I'm going to grab my, grab my hose here, which is already hooked up. We're going to fill it with water. As you can see, I'm filling. This holds about five gallons of water. Stay with me. So as you can see, we didn't fill all the way up. You don't want to fill all the way to the brim because then we're going to have water splashing out. But you want to get it about, you know, 80% filled with water, 70 to 80%. Then you're going to take your detergent, whatever you like to use. Just put a little bit in there, doesn't require a lot. Put the top down, and I'm gonna do a full 15 minute wash. So this thing's gonna wash for 15 minutes. We're gonna kinda watch the process here. So as you can see, that's what it does. It agitates, it moves the clothes around, gets the, gets the water just agitating the clothes. And that's what's gonna take the dirt, grime, oils, and everything, and that's what's actually gonna clean your clothes. Stay with me. So our first wash cycle has just been completed after 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse the water out. 
we're going to refill it again and do a rinse cycle. So let's see how dirty this water is. Let's see how well this thing did. So as you can sell, see, the, the water is definitely dirty. The clothes definitely need to be cleaned, and the washer did a great job to clean the clothes. So we're going to let this completely empty out. As you can see, there's a funnel at the bottom, and this is what's going to take all the water that's inside the washing machine, and it's going to put it out. As you can see, the water is so dirty that you can't even see at the bottom. So yeah, I'd say this uh, washer did a really good job cleaning the clothes. So let's go uh, wait for this to be done, and then we'll start a drain cycle. Stay with me. So just like before, we're going to add more water to it, and we're going to start our, rin our rinse cycle. Stay with me. Just like before, we put the water in, the fresh water in, got it to about 80% full. Put this bad boy on 15 minutes, and we're going to let the rinse cycle finish rinsing the clothes out, just like you would in a normal washing machine. And then we're gonna take the clothes out of here and I'm gonna show you my, my dryer system. Stay with me. So the rinse cycle's done and we're just emptying out the water here, the rinse cycle water. And if you notice that your rinse cycle water is still a little bit dirty, you can repeat this process as many times as necessary to get it to where you feel like your clothes are clean enough to begin to dry. So there we go. I'm gonna let this sit for a few more seconds and then I'm gonna take the clothes that are in here. I'm gonna take them to my dryer. Stay with me. So before we move forward to with the dryer, let's kind of take a look at just the the power used. So altogether, for 34 minutes approximately of washing, so that's one wash cycle, one, one rinse cycle, it used approximately 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. That's it. So it says that it's been plugged in for 35 minutes at about 121 volts. So far, it has not cost me anything because, like I said, uh, it cost me approximately 0.16 cents per kilowatt hour, and we use 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. So this machine is very, 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 very economical as far as the electricity you get. I mean, you cannot get that out of a full-size washing machine. You, you're just not going to get it. So I think that's great. 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. For a full 30-minute uh, wash cycle, for one, for one, uh, for one load of clothes. So, stay with me. Let's get to our dryer. Hey everybody! So this is my Nina Soft Spin Centrifuge Dryer. What that means is it uses zero heat, and it will spin 12 pounds of wet laundry at 1800 RPM. Um, so this thing will spin my laundry 1800 times in a minute. So that's how it dries the clothes. It spins all the water out of them. As you can see, I have it connected to my kilowatt monitor and we're going to see how much it's going to cost me to dry the clothes that I just watched. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're just going to put that on top there. And the reason why I have it inside the shower is because the water is going to come spitting out of here. So I want it to be able to go down my normal drain that I would for taking a shower so there's no mess. So we're going to get that in there. Put this on top so it covers the clothes and then we'll spin. Stay with me. All right, all the clothes are in there. We're ready to spin. As soon as I push the lid all the way down will begin. Let's start. As you can see, all the water is being spun from the clothes. That is a lot of water. And it's doing this in a matter of seconds. So in seconds, I'm gonna be able to get my clothes pretty much bone dry. So we're just gonna let this spin until uh, we stop seeing water. Very quick, easy way to dry clothes. 
this is quicker than using a normal dryer. Now, like I said, the clothes aren't gonna be 110% dry, but they're gonna be pretty dry. You hang it up for 30, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, you wouldn't even notice you washed them. So we're just gonna hold tight, stay with me. All right, the clothes have been spinning for almost two minutes now. As you can see, it's just going really fast in there. So let's open it up and see how dry our clothes are. As you can see by the coloration, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you see that there's parts of it where it's just bone dry. Now it feels a tiny bit moist at wettest, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, this is, this is dry. I, I can hang it up right here. If you guys look up, you can see I have the vent open. We got some breeze coming through, hang it up right there and it'll be dry within within an hour not bad at all does not feel does not feel wet this t-shirt I could put on right now no problem same with the polo dry no problems socks dry so we'll just hang them up here let them sit there for half hour to an hour be good to go so let's look at the power consumption so drying these clothes cost me well used up 0 0.01 kilowatt hours the device has been plugged in for about six minutes now Cost me nothing so far. 0 0.01 kilowatt hours. So altogether, to wash a load of clothes for 30 minutes and to dry them takes approximately 0 0.04 kilowatt hours. You can't beat that. That's as good as it's gonna get. Stay with me. Hey, welcome back. So now you see how I wash and dry my clothes. That's a great little system I have. Now, some of the disadvantages would be you can only wash five pounds of clothes at a time inside the base camp washer. So your bigger items like your blankets and comforters, you're not really going to be able to wash inside uh, the system. The second thing, most people when they get their clothes out of the dryer, they expect it to be nice, hot. That's not the purpose of this dryer. This is a centrifuge dryer, so it spins your clothes at high RPMs and takes the moisture out of the clothes. Now, for your thicker material like your denim there might still be a little bit of moisture left in it but not very much your smaller uh, thinner fabrics like your cotton like that shirt I, I showed you earlier I could have put it on no problem so you may have to do a little bit of air drying for me not that big of a deal for you hey that's for you to decide now the advantages are is definitely the efficiency what do I mean by efficiency well let's kind of break down the math here so you saw for one wash and one dry use approximately 0 0.04 kilowatts of energy. So with that being stated, let's look at what your typical washer and dryer use. They're typically a 220 volt, meaning they pull a lot more power out. So with that being said, when we look at the, our statistics, I grabbed some facts from Keys Energy and Efficiency Vermont. We saw that a typical household washer uses nine kilowatt hours a month for 108 kilowatt hours a year, okay? So for a dryer, it uses 75 kilowatt hours a month for an annual kilowatt hours of about 900 kilowatt hours. So altogether, you're talking for a combined kilowatt hours annually would be 1,008. Now we multiply that by the national average of 14 cents a kilowatt, it's gonna give you operating costs around $141 a year to operate those two, those two items. And that's, that's depending on how often or how little you use it. Now let's put this in, into perspective. So for my system that I have set up, let's say I needed to wash 50 pounds of clothes a week to maintain my clean laundry, right? So that would mean 10 washes a week. Multiply that by 56 weeks in a year would give me 560 washes 
and drives that I would have to do. Multiply that by, by 0 0.04, the amount of energy required to do one wash and one dry would put me approximately at 22.4 kilowatt hours in a year. Multiply that by my cost, which is 16 cents a kilowatt, would put me at $3.58. So I can wash 50 pounds of clothes a week, meaning 50 pounds a week, 200 pounds a month, 2,800 pounds a year at under $3.60. Amazing. I mean, that's <laughs> don't don't really need words to describe how awesome that is. So for me, it's win-win. I can wash two thousand eight hundred pounds of clothes cheaper than I can do one load of laundry at a laundromat. So for me, it's a win-win. Um, another perspective for you guys. So let's say I wanted to see how many times I would have to wash and dry my clothes to e to equate. The, for the amount of energy used in a typical washer and dryer annually. So take 1,008 kilowatt hours. For me, it would take 25 washes and dries to equal one kilowatt hour. So 1,008 multiplied by 25 means that I would have to wash and dry 25,200 times to e equal the amount of power used by the average washer and dryer. So for me, like I said, the advantages are great. Plugs in directly to a 12 volt uh, wall socket, you know, so one, 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 120 volt. Great, every wall outlet can, can, you can utilize. Efficiency, I mean, the numbers speak for itself. My total an annual cost to maintain, to maintain my clothes is less than $3.60, way less. I don't wash 50 pounds of clothes in a month, in a week anyway. Uh, the next really good advantage is it's small, it's portable, I can wash, and I have all the modern luxuries that you guys have at your house, apartments, I have here in the privacy of my own RV. And lastly, it washes quickly and it dries really quick. So I'm talking about, you know, your average dryer could take 45 minutes. Mine takes less than three minutes. So, I mean, it really speaks for itself. For me, it's great. The It's great not just on the cost, but just the fact that I don't have to produce as much energy to get the same results. So I highly recommend a system like this, like I said, I'm not here to sell anyone on any brand of products or anything like that, but I highly recommend thinking about <clears throat> a small, especially for those of you that live in RVs and apartments, you know, or live in big cities. This could be, this could really be, you know, a great, 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 great advantage to have. You know, this is definitely something you guys can use. So for me, like I said, the numbers speak for itself, the performance speaks for itself. So. I couldn't be happier. This is my system. This is how I do it. Highly recommend you guys look into your own alternatives, whether you're living in an apartment or you're living in an RV or you live in a house and you want to cut costs or this is a backup plan in case the power goes out and you still want to be able to wash and dry clothes when there's no power grid. So for me, it's win-win. Hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned. We're going to be having a lot more sanitation talks, you know, health sanitation uh, series is going to keep going so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm excited to, to push forward so I hope you guys are having a great week, great weekend and uh, stay tuned. If you guys have any questions please feel free to PM me, message me, leave a comment. I love, I love seeing them, I love, I love uh, being able to answer your guys' questions. So as always, long live the Republic.